So today we're going to be going over the knockout method. I particularly find that it helps to have the layers window open. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up ahead of time. And I just did that by going to windows layers and that opens this little window. Now what we're going to do is we're going to knock an image out of the text. So we need our text. So I come over here and I click on the font that I want to use and click over here and start typing. Now, all caps generally works the best. It just comes out the clearest, but you can obviously do whatever you want. Just my suggestion. And I'm going to go back to my selection tool and I'm going to size these the way I want them to look. And all I'm doing is just selecting the font and changing the width over here on the right. And I'm going to line them up and center them. Perfect. Now when you're doing the knockout method, you do need to have them all as one. So I'm going to select all and I'm going to hit path union. I'm just going to change the color just so we can see it better. And now this is not thick enough for me. This font doesn't have a bold option, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of turn it into a shadow and just thin it out a little bit. And that's what this number value is. The higher the number, the thicker it is. So I'm just going to put it to a thickness that makes me happy here. Again, because this font doesn't have a bold option, so that looks good. And then I'm going to bring in my image. So I'm going to be working with the very fitting dinosaur. And now you don't want your image to be larger than your font, just because it won't come out right. So you're going to shrink it down and you want it to fit within the outline of the font. So I think that's about good, maybe a little bit bigger. And that's about where I want it. I'm just gonna make it bigger so you guys can see it. Beautiful. So that's what we're gonna go for. Now you're going to select all and you're gonna hit edit copy and I'll show you why in just a minute why you need to do that. Then you're going to hit path and you're going to hit back minus front because you just want to cut the dinosaur out because he was the last thing I brought in. He was on the front. You could also see that here in the layers that he was on the top layer. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hide this because now we're going to work on making the dinosaur part. So I just click the little eye here and I hid that layer and I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to hit paste in place. It's crucial that you don't hit paste and that you hit paste in place just because it will put it exactly where it was when you copied it. So now I'm going to go ahead and select everything that I just pasted and I'm going to hit path intersection. And now we've got the dinosaur part of the word. And I'm just going to change it to a contrasting color so you can see it and unhide it. And there it is, our knocked out dinosaur out of the cricket dinosaur's name.